<sighs> hey everyone, this is Ray with the channel Love Water Healing, your energy card reader, bringing to you the monthly reading for Libra for March. I know that I'm a little bit late, so I appreciate you coming in and watching your March reading Libra. Let's clear the energy out for Libra for the month of March. Okay, so it seems like for me that there's music involved um, and not something that you were expecting, Libra, for the month of March. I don't know what that is, but let's see what the um, cards have to say for the month of March for you. Um, make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising to get a full picture of what the month has in store for you. Let's see. Hmm. Libra in the month of March. Okay. I feel like you're on fire and you're pushing yourself to the surface of something that you were not entirely sure about in the first place. So that's interesting. Hmm. What were you not sure about in the first place? This is going to be interesting. I like it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's a new practice that you want to try, um, or some kind of like healing that you have been working on. That's sort of going to like go through the whole body and it's going to work sort of from head to toe and realign and reset some meridians. So I love that Libra meridians meaning like energy places in the body. So you're really grounding yourself out here in the month of March. And you're making sure that you are lighting a fire under so that it pushes forward. So I don't know if it's under like your butt, under someone else's butt, um, but there's change that's coming in and you recognize that it's here, Libra. And you just want to keep pushing forward. You want it to be easy. You don't want it to be a transition that doesn't bring you joy, um, but it's it's here. It needs to happen. The changes, we're right on the precipice of it. And if you could just, if you could just enjoy the present moment and not be so worried about the past and not be so focused on the future, everything that you want and desire is within reach. <sighs> Subscribe button, thumbs up. Um, notification bell comments down below if you would like yeah it's just within reach and it's so beautiful and juicy and delicious and it's just right there if you need to walk away from a situation the fairies are telling you to walk away it says leave an unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result children you connect with children and it's part of your life's purpose and then your wish is granted. The fairies are like, what you've asked for is coming true. Let's see what the angels say for you for the month of March. Yeah, I can't be more clear about like doing your thing, right? Doing your own thing, not worried about what anyone else says. It's bringing about like a whole shift. These meridians are realigning and it feels so delicious for you to get to that point. So this is a beginning of like a pretty intense emotional experience, but we always grow from having emotional experiences. So that's okay. Um, there's something deeper that's on the horizon and I want you to know it's important to express your feelings. You don't have to like blow up at anybody. You don't have to like scream at anybody. It's about being kind. And expressing your feelings about, um, you know, a person or a situation that you were not, like, <laughs> at first, you were not sure about, but you didn't follow your intention um, for what you wanted, and you didn't follow your intuition. But now, yeah, now you're going to have to. It's going to feel better because it's literally healing you from a trauma of before. So when you start to clean up your life 
<laughs> you're going to get rid of anything that um, is cluttery, right? So if something doesn't bring you joy and it's in your space, it's like get rid of it if it's not something that's for you. Um, if people are taking from you and they are not giving back, it's time to release them. That's what I have to say about that. So um, you may also be called on in the month of March to be a spokesperson for something where like you, they're bringing you in because of your knowledge and what you have to bring to the table. And they're like, you'll have the perfect words, by the way. You'll have the perfect presentation. It will all be like so professional People will be blown away with what you have to say to them. So Libra, it's time. Present moment now. You're paying attention. You're letting go of those things that do not serve you, do not bring you joy, and you're finally moving on. And it's a like a person that you feel is like a mentor or um, has like knowledge beyond your knowledge is in your life and has been telling you this. And it's been like saying, full speed ahead, like, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. And you've been doubting the ability to do it because you're afraid. Stop being afraid, Libra. Stop being afraid. And if you need to forge forward and do what makes the most sense for you, cut people out of your life and release them. Let them go. Let them go. It's going to be hard at first, especially if it's people that you're around all the time. But it's important that you recognize that you're not doing a service or anything to yourself by not letting go of those people. You're letting them run your life when you're here to create your reality. So if you're letting them run your life, you're allowing them to create that life for you because you've already created it. So you're like, yeah, that's fine. Let them come in. Let them come in and run my life. Let them come in and do the things like to my creation of what I have in front of me. Guess what? You're creating that. You're allowing them to have the energy in your space. So find a way to get yourself into the next situation and realize that everything is working out for your highest good. You can literally ask your angels to do this work for you before you go to bed. In between that stage of where you're completely sleeping and you're awake, there's that in-between stage where you have that faint hearing of things off in the background, your eyes are closed. You can ask your angels and guides and do a little meditation for yourself right before you fall asleep. Make sure it's clear in your mind what you want to say and then go for it. Put it out there, give it away, and then stop worrying about what's going to happen Everything works out for your highest good. When you start to feel doubt, say to, my, say to yourself, everything's working out for my highest good and for the highest good of everyone around me, right? Because we're not messing with anyone else. It's just us. You could even go as far as like, everything's working out for my highest good. Everything's working out for the highest good of everyone, everything, every place, every realm, every direction around me at all times and continues to push forward in a direction that brings me the most joy. Those are the things you have to do. And I know that you can do it. I have full faith in you, Libra, that you can do it. Um, and I don't think you should doubt yourself and put yourself in a situation that does not bring you joy. And that's all I have for you. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. As always, love your water, and love yourself. And I'll see you on the next video. I love you.